AI, machine learning, images from text. We are entering a new era. Artificial intelligence image generators, which create pictures from a prompt entered by you. No drawing needed, no Photoshop, just basic, very basic human language to describe what you want to have created. And it does this. Due to its input simplicity and no special hardware needed other than a computer, smartphone or tablet, it is accessible to a massive number of people. No deeper technology knowledge needed. This type of AI suddenly gives the magical skill of digital drawing and painting to millions and millions of humans in an instant. It's like you have downloaded that skill into your brain, kind of matrix-like, that's what it feels like initially. Taking away the factor of time and endurance which humans would usually need to invest in order to master a skill like this, and with that making it accessible to the masses in a blink of an eye, inevitably has a profound impact on the field of art creation, the perception of it, and how we will express ourselves in the future. What was limited by your lack of skill prior, now underlays the limit of your imagination. How good you are able to write a prompt and how close you want the outcome to be to your wish. So how did we get here? Humans started off drawing with their fingers. Maybe a human scratching his head or running his fingers through sand could be actually declared the first drawing. The first picture. Signs of humans mixing pigments are set to date some 350,000 years ago. Tools have evolved since then. What was once a finger became a stick, a stone, a brush, all kinds of pans as we know them today. A stamp somewhere in between and a printing press empowering us to copy. Photography and we were able to paint with light on paper first, then on film. Then came the computer and we were able to paint something with the push of a button, a mouse or a pressure sensitive pen so we can see it on a screen. Today we can apply color pigments using light on almost any surface we like to. Or we just simply burn it into a material. Paint evolved. From the finger which once had no paint on it, then got dipped into dirt, blood and grinded stones, we discovered charcoal, oil colors, graphite, ink, acrylic colors, just to name a few. So from putting your fingers into dirt, your brain telling your hand which color to dip into and which movements to make, over enabling us to paint with light onto a film, we have built machines which mix colors for us and assist us in creating shapes and complete images even, while we only need to move our hand slightly and command it with the tip of our finger. Now, these days, we taught the machine how to create what we call art by understanding solely our linguistic expression. And let's talk about the elephant in the room. What it will end as we know it today. Since now the skill of drawing is obtained by a machine, all people which can write a text automatically inhabit the skill of creating an image. 
AI will have its place in picture production from now. Creating something to 100%, a part of it or even just being utilized as an inspiration. Human picture models. Replacing fashion photography, for example, or anything else which has a character in it, will feel the impact of this new technology. As it's not like the result is coming close to the former product, but they match the product. Stock photography. As AI can produce photorealistic and all, I mean all kinds of artistic styles, it will become easier and cheaper to run a prompt instead of looking for the closest match in a stock gallery. The majority of artists creating digital art solely for money and not for self-satisfaction. As the bubble of individuals which are now able to create images is being blown up to a size early not imaginable, it is skyrocketing the effort it will take to stand out in an ocean of images. The reward to drive creation motivation for individuals can then mostly only come from within themselves. NFT images. If only simply due to the vastness of offer, as now everybody can create an image and not only any image, but an artistic one in a high quality fashion, and also endless variations of them, the world will not run short of images in the future and it will flood the NFT market, which is already getting saturated. The list of what it will change or end can go on and on. And it's quite exciting to even try to look into this crystal ball. Yet this new technology cannot be displayed as ending things alone. That's not how it works. And this is not how it ever worked. What it will create. Enriching art and design, creating new branches. One new tool, which is now text to image generation, can be fed back and merged with all other techniques known to humankind, likely expanding into and inspiring fields that do not exclusively work with images, but relate to shape and art to create other things. From furniture, automotive design and fashion, all the way to architecture. Creation of new categories. Pretty, that spot's taken. Abstract, that spot's taken now as well. Creative also taken. So what will be the new categories of judgment? Authenticity, meaning to the viewer, more distinct differentiation between analog and digital, or simply the difficulty level of creating something as a judgeable category. Maybe the future creation will go hand in hand with their creation documentation. It will not be about finding out yourself how people did it. It will be maybe about being told by the authors how it went. More the way of it than the outcome of it. New way of how we search for pictures. The possibility of AI generating image is kind of a search engine for wishful thinking. What you're not able to find as a picture via web search these days, you can generate it by simply handing your original search prompt to the new technology. Further define it if you need it and receive something which you would not be able to find via web search today. So how will this change us as humans? what it will encourage. True dedication to drawing and painting. As the availability of images will increase and the cost of images will drastically decrease, there will be barely money as a reward system available for image creation. So only the ones that do it for satisfaction will remain in the Atlantic. And speaking of, satisfaction of mastering a skill Having thrown some time into generating images via AI 
I would like to say that after the initial wow effect fades, the process of creation starts to feel more like throwing 50 dice and expecting them to have the same number. It's more of a waiting game while the software works on what you have been working on. And here's the thing. While the software gives you the ability to see what it would look like if you would have the skill, simultaneously it deprives your feeling of actually having that skill of creation. Because it's too easy. And even if you make it rocket science, it's still easy. Non-printable pictures. As long as we do not build machines available to all, which will paint with oil or draw with pencils, non-printable art will keep its status if not even gain from the fact that tools like AI exist today. Final thoughts. Cat and mouse. The longer you spend time on creating prompts and feeding the AI, the more defined your image in your mind becomes at the same time. Creating a cat and mouse situation, making it increasingly harder from one prompt run to another for the AI to reproduce what you are imagining. Shared effort. If you see it as a shared effort of two artists, you and the AI, you will be fine. If you want this one to be yours alone and feel like it's yours, the time you will spend on writing prompts will be better invested in learning a skill which is enabling you to create this mostly unassisted. Ownership. As today, you can tweak a picture in an instant to make it a new original creation. How will we deal with ownership in the future? Healing. If expressing yourself could heal a soul, will this new possibility heal the ones which were not able to express themselves before? Artists. People generating pictures from text using AI and this being their end product, even though it's a shared effort, I do see them as artists. These are simply humans expressing themselves with a very powerful tool. It's kind of like cyclists complaining about e-bikes passing them, you know? I will be using this tool to create things I was not able to create before, as I do not practice magical skills in this area. For me personally, it is that the AI who is the artist in this more than I am. And I think this is due to the fact that I value skill and execution more than I do an idea by itself. And I am the idea in this. And finally, having experienced the wow effect and the fate of fascination using this technology, it seems to me that this technology might be the most potent entry drug for human species into learning a skill of creating images other than using AI.